Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing about facts, future and success rate of kidney stone demolished surgery by laser lithotripsy. I will also be sharing some tips for recovery after the kidney stone demolished surgery. I hope that this video is helpful for anyone who is suffering from kidney stone pain or is interested in learning more about this common fact for laser lithotripsy. Laser lithotripsy is a minimally invasive surgical procedure used to break down kidney stones into smaller pieces that can be easily passed out of the body through the urinary tract. During this procedure, a high-powered laser is used to precisely target and fragment the kidney stones. In laser lithotripsy for kidney stones, a thin flexible fiber optic scope is inserted through the urethra and bladder to reach the ureter or kidney where the stone is located. The laser is then passed through the scope and directed at the stone to break it into smaller pieces. The energy from the laser breaks down the stone by causing it to fragment into smaller particles that can be flushed out of the body naturally. Laser lithotripsy is a highly effective and precise method for treating kidney stones, particularly for larger stones or stones that are difficult to remove using other methods. It offers several advantages such as minimal damage to surrounding tissues, reduced risk of complications, and shorter recovery times compared to traditional surgical methods. Overall, laser lithotripsy plays a crucial role in the treatment of kidney stones by effectively breaking down stones into smaller, manageable pieces that can be passed out of the body, providing relief to patients suffering from this painful condition. Is laser lithotripsy safer than other methods for kidney stone removal? I'm curious to know more about the benefits. Laser lithotripsy is considered a safe and effective method for removing kidney stones, and it offers several benefits compared to other traditional methods for kidney stone removal. Some of the key benefits of laser lithotripsy include 1. Minimally invasive, laser lithotripsy is a minimally invasive procedure that does not require any incisions. It is performed using a thin, flexible fiber optic scope that is passed through the urinary tract to target and break down the kidney stone. This minimally invasive approach results in less pain, reduced blood loss, and faster recovery times for patients. 2. Precision and effectiveness. Laser lithotripsy allows for precise targeting of the kidney stone with the laser energy, effectively breaking down the stone into smaller fragments that can be easily passed out of the body. This targeted approach minimizes damage to surrounding tissues and reduces the risk of complications. 3. Versatility. Laser lithotripsy is effective for treating a wide range of kidney stone types, including large stones, hard stones, and stones located in difficult-to-reach areas of the kidney. The laser energy can be adjusted to suit the specific characteristics of the stone, making it a versatile treatment option. 4. Reduced risk of complications, laser lithotripsy is associated with a lower risk of complications compared to other methods of kidney stone removal, such as open surgery or shock wave lithotripsy. The minimally invasive nature of the procedure reduces the risk of infection, bleeding, and other postoperative complications. 5. Shorter recovery times, laser lithotripsy typically involves a shorter recovery time compared to traditional surgical methods for kidney stone removal. Patients can usually resume normal activities within a few days after the procedure, with minimal discomfort or restrictions. Overall, laser lithotripsy is a safe, effective, and minimally invasive method for removing kidney stones, offering several advantages over other treatment options. It is often preferred by both patients and healthcare providers for its precision, effectiveness, and reduced risk of complications. Can laser lithotripsy be used for all types of kidney stones? Laser lithotripsy is a highly effective method for treating a wide range of kidney stone types, including calcium-based stones, uric acid stones, cysteine stones, and struvite stones. However, the suitability of laser lithotripsy for treating specific types of kidney stones may depend on various factors such as the size, location, and composition of the stone. In general, laser lithotripsy is most commonly used for the following types of kidney stones. 1. Calcium-based stones. Calcium oxalate and calcium phosphate stones are the most common types of kidney stones and are typically responsive to laser lithotripsy. The focused laser energy can break down these hard stones into smaller fragments that can be easily flushed out of the body. 
2. Uric Acid Stones Uric acid stones are another common type of kidney stone that can be effectively treated with laser lithotripsy. The laser energy can target and break down uric acid stones, facilitating their removal from the urinary tract. 3. Cysteine stones Cysteine stones are less common but can also be treated with laser lithotripsy. The laser energy can fragment cysteine stones, allowing them to be passed out of the body. 4. Struvite stones Struvite stones, also known as infection stones, may require additional treatment along with laser lithotripsy to address the underlying infection. Laser lithotripsy can be used to break down struvite stones into smaller fragments, which may need to be followed by antibiotic therapy to prevent recurrence. While laser lithotripsy is effective for most types of kidney stones, there may be some cases where alternative treatment options are more suitable, such as shock wave lithotripsy for certain types of stones or surgical removal for very large or complex stones. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider who can evaluate the specific characteristics of the kidney stones and recommend the most appropriate treatment approach. What is the precautions used for lithography in kidney stone demolished surgery? During laser lithotripsy for kidney stone removal, several precautions are taken to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the procedure. Some of the key precautions and considerations include 1. Preoperative evaluation. Prior to the procedure, a thorough evaluation of the patient's medical history, kidney stone characteristics, and overall health status is conducted to determine the most suitable treatment approach. This evaluation may include imaging tests, blood tests, and urine tests to assess the size, location, and composition of the kidney stone. 2. Patient preparation. Patients undergoing laser lithotripsy are typically advised to follow specific preoperative instructions, such as fasting before the procedure and taking any prescribed medications as directed. It is important for patients to inform the healthcare provider of any allergies, medications, or medical conditions they may have. 3. Anesthesia. Laser lithotripsy is usually performed under general anesthesia or local anesthesia, depending on the patient's health status and the complexity of the procedure. Anesthesia helps ensure patient comfort and safety during the surgery. 4. Antibiotic prophylaxis. In cases where there is a risk of infection associated with the kidney stones or the procedure, patients may receive antibiotic prophylaxis to prevent postoperative infections. 5. Monitoring. During the procedure, the patient's vital signs, oxygen levels, and kidney function may be monitored closely to ensure their safety and well-being. 6. Laser settings. The laser energy settings used during lithotripsy are carefully adjusted based on the size, location, and composition of the kidney stone to effectively break it down into smaller pieces. The healthcare provider will determine the appropriate laser settings to minimize damage to surrounding tissues. 7. Postoperative care. After the procedure, patients are typically monitored for any signs of complications and may receive postoperative instructions, such as drinking plenty of fluids to help flush out the stone fragments and medication to manage pain or discomfort. 8. Follow-up care. Patients may be scheduled for follow-up visits to monitor their recovery, assess the success of the procedure, and address any concerns or issues that may arise. By following these precautions and considerations, healthcare providers can help ensure the safe and successful removal of kidney stones using laser lithotripsy. It is important for patients to discuss any questions or concerns with their healthcare provider before undergoing the procedure. Could you explain more about why antibiotic prophylaxis is necessary? Antibiotic prophylaxis is sometimes used in surgical procedures, including laser lithotripsy for kidney stone removal, to prevent postoperative infections. In the context of kidney stone surgery, antibiotic prophylaxis may be considered necessary for the following reasons. 1. Risk of infection. In some cases, kidney stones can lead to urinary tract infections, UTIs, or kidney infections, pyelonephritis, due to the presence of bacteria associated with the stones. During the surgical manipulation of the kidney stones, there is a risk of introducing bacteria from the urinary tract into the bloodstream or surrounding tissues, increasing the risk of infection. 2. Invasive procedure. Laser lithotripsy is a minimally invasive surgical procedure, 
but it still involves the insertion of instruments into the urinary tract to reach the kidney stone. This can create a pathway for bacteria to enter the urinary tract and potentially cause an infection, especially if the patient is predisposed to urinary tract infections. 3. Prolonged procedure. The duration of the laser lithotripsy procedure can vary depending on the size and complexity of the kidney stone. Prolonged exposure of the urinary tract to the surgical instruments increases the risk of bacterial contamination and infection. 4. Existing conditions. Patients with a history of recurrent UTIs, anatomical abnormalities of the urinary tract, or other risk factors for infections may benefit from antibiotic prophylaxis to reduce the risk of postoperative complications. 5. Preventive measure. Antibiotic prophylaxis is a preventive measure that aims to reduce the risk of surgical site infections, urinary tract infections, or systemic infections following the procedure. By administering antibiotics before and or after surgery, healthcare providers can help protect patients from potential infections and promote successful recovery. It is important for healthcare providers to assess each patient's individual risk factors for infections and determine the necessity of antibiotic prophylaxis based on the specific circumstances of the surgery. The selection of the appropriate antibiotic, dosage, and duration of prophylaxis will be tailored to the patient's medical history, allergies, and the type of surgical procedure being performed. Overall, antibiotic prophylaxis is a safety measure used to minimize the risk of infections and support the favorable outcomes of kidney stone surgery. Can you provide more information on the types of antibiotics used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery? Antibiotic prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery, such as laser lithotripsy, involves the administration of antibiotics to prevent postoperative infections. The selection of antibiotics for prophylaxis is based on factors such as the patient's medical history, known allergies, the type of procedure being performed, and the risk of specific infections. Some common types of antibiotics used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery may include 1. Fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolone antibiotics, such as ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin, are commonly used for prophylaxis. In kidney stone surgery due to their broad spectrum of activity against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. They are effective in preventing urinary tract infections, UTIs, and are often well tolerated by patients. 2. Cephalosporins. Cephalosporin antibiotics, such as ceftriaxone and cefazolin, are also frequently used for antibiotic prophylaxis in surgical procedures, including kidney stone surgery. They are effective against a wide range of bacteria and are commonly administered before surgery to prevent postoperative infections. 3. Penicillins. Penicillin antibiotics, such as amoxicillin and ampicillin, may be used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery, particularly in patients with no known allergies to penicillin. They are effective against many types of bacteria and are often given to prevent infections before surgical procedures. 4. Aminoglycosides. Aminoglycoside antibiotics, such as gentamicin and tobramycin, may be used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery to prevent postoperative infections. They are effective against a broad spectrum of bacteria but may be reserved for specific cases due to concerns about potential side effects and antibiotic resistance. 5. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, also known as cotrimoxazole, is a combination antibiotic that may be used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery to prevent UTIs and other bacterial infections. It is effective against a variety of bacteria and is often well tolerated by patients. The choice of antibiotic for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery will depend on factors such as the patient's allergy history, the local patterns of bacterial resistance, and the preferences of the healthcare provider. It is important for healthcare providers to carefully select the appropriate antibiotic, dose, and duration of prophylaxis to optimize the effectiveness of infection prevention while minimizing the risk of antibiotic-associated complications. Patients undergoing kidney stone surgery should communicate any allergies, medical conditions, or previous adverse reactions to antibiotics to their healthcare provider to ensure safe and effective antibiotic prophylaxis. Do these antibiotics have any side effects that I should be aware of? Yes, 
Antibiotics used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery, such as those mentioned previously, fluoroquinolones, cephalosporins, penicillins, aminoglycosides, and trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, may have potential side effects that patients should be aware of. It is important for patients to discuss any concerns or questions about antibiotic prophylaxis with their healthcare provider. Some common side effects associated with antibiotics used for prophylaxis in kidney stone surgery may include 1. Gastrointestinal issues. Antibiotics can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract, leading to side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or abdominal discomfort. These symptoms are usually mild and temporary but may require medical attention if they persist or worsen. 2. Allergic reactions. Some patients may experience allergic reactions to certain antibiotics, ranging from mild skin rashes to more severe reactions such as anaphylaxis. Patients with a history of allergies to antibiotics should inform their healthcare provider before starting antibiotic prophylaxis. 3. Drug interactions. Antibiotics can interact with other medications that a patient may be taking, potentially affecting their effectiveness or causing side effects. It is important to inform the healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and medical conditions before starting antibiotic prophylaxis. 4. Antibiotic resistance. Prolonged or inappropriate use of antibiotics can contribute to the development of antibiotic resistance, where bacteria become resistant to the effects of the antibiotic. Healthcare providers carefully consider the choice and duration of antibiotic prophylaxis to minimize the risk of antibiotic resistance. 5. Kidney toxicity. Some antibiotics, such as aminoglycosides, can have potential adverse effects on the kidneys, particularly if used at high doses or for prolonged periods. Patients with pre-existing kidney conditions or risk factors for kidney toxicity should be monitored closely during antibiotic prophylaxis. 6. Clostridium difficile infection. Certain antibiotics can disrupt the normal bacterial flora in the gut and increase. The risk of Clostridium difficile infection, a bacterial infection that can cause severe diarrhea and colitis. Patients experiencing persistent diarrhea or abdominal pain should seek medical attention. Patients should follow the prescribed dose and duration of antibiotic prophylaxis as directed by their healthcare provider to minimize the risk of side effects and optimize the effectiveness of infection prevention. It is important to report any unexpected symptoms or concerns during antibiotic prophylaxis to the healthcare provider for appropriate evaluation and management. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on health and wellness. Take care and see you in the next one.